This young puppy named Kago was thrown into the cage with a hungry cheetah. Although it was for a supposed experiment, what happened after is not for the faint of heart. Kago was a rescue dog that had been living in a local shelter in Alabama. He was brought all the way from his shelter in Alabama to Virginia. The little pup didn't know what to expect or why he was brought to a new shelter, but what happened next left everyone shocked, including the poor pup. When he first arrived at the shelter, fear enveloped him. He was unfamiliar with everything and everyone in this new state. His surroundings had definitely changed and nothing looked like what he was used to. There were unfamiliar faces and new scents that he didn't recognize. His journey eventually led him to the Metro Richmond Zoo, where his fate awaited. Stepping into the zoo, the bustling symphony of animal calls and enthusiastic visitors surrounded him. The zookeepers first allowed the young puppy to get accustomed to his new surroundings. They wanted Kago to be as comfortable as possible before proceeding with the real reason why he was brought to the shelter. The young Labrador mix, wide-eyed and a little too trusting, had no idea why he was here. If he had, the poor pup would probably have run for the hills. However, Kago started to relax a bit when he was introduced to other animals. Before long, he was playing with them too. Soon after, he was guided by the zoo staff to a special enclosure, soon to be his new abode. Little did he know, a thrilling encounter awaited him. The zookeepers had been taking care of a special animal in their shelter, but the poor animal was having trouble interacting and was in need of a companion. And that was why Kago was brought in. This animal was indeed unlike any other, and certainly unlike any animal Kago had encountered before. What happened next was quite unbelievable. When Kago was put in the enclosure, the poor pup was beyond shocked. He didn't understand what was going on either. Right in front of him was a wild animal, a cheetah to be exact, and the young dog didn't know how to react. What was the creature in front of him? Was it dangerous? The zookeepers watched carefully, waiting for the two animals to interact. But Kago was quite hesitant. They held their breath waiting for something to happen, but the two animals only seemed to stare at each other in confusion. Kumbali, the cheetah, had been at the enclosure before Kago arrived, but there was something peculiar about the little cheetah. It had no companion, and the zookeepers were scared that it would lose its predatory instincts. When Kumbali was born, the zookeepers at the Metro Richmond Zoo were initially overjoyed. However, their joy soon turned to concern, as they noticed that Kumbali, the smallest cub in the litter of four, wasn't thriving as expected. At just two weeks old, his struggle to thrive became apparent. Despite his mother's efforts to care for him, he wasn't gaining weight like his siblings. The zookeepers observed him closely, monitoring his feeding patterns and behavior. What they discovered was heartbreaking. Kumbali appeared weak and lethargic, often unable to keep up with his siblings during feeding time. The other tiny cheetahs towered over him, pushing him aside, and feeding became an arduous task for him. During a routine checkup, the vets discovered that Kumbali's mother, Kari, wasn't producing enough milk for all her babies. This led to a struggle for food among the cubs, where only the strongest would survive, and Kumbali just wasn't strong enough. Kumbali's once bright eyes now seemed dull, reflecting the toll that his lack of weight gain was taking on him. The zookeepers knew they had to intervene to give him the best chance at survival. With heavy hearts, they made the decision to separate the cub from his mother and siblings. It was a difficult choice, but they knew it was necessary for his well-being. Placed under intensive care, Kumbali received specialized attention from the staff, who closely monitored his progress and provided him with the care he needed. Despite their efforts, his weight continued to decline, and his condition remained unstable. The caretakers worried tirelessly, even bottle-feeding him around the clock and keeping a vigilant watch over his fragile health. They were at risk of losing the poor cheetah, and they wanted to do everything they could to save him. Despite facing uncertainty, 
Kumbali's condition began to show signs of improvement with each passing day. He grew stronger and more resilient, defying the odds stacked against him. His appetite returned, and he eagerly accepted nourishment from his human caregivers. Slowly, his weight stabilized and his energy levels increased. Kumbali began to exhibit playful behaviors, bringing joy to the hearts of the zookeepers. Despite his young age, he amazed everyone with his incredible speed and playful antics. Regular checkups with the veterinarian ensured his health, and he received all the necessary care to keep him thriving. However, something challenging happened and the zookeepers needed to find a quick solution. It turned out that they couldn't reintroduce Kumbali to his mother and siblings, as it would likely cause distress to the family and they would consider him a threat. Cheetahs, unlike their cousins, lions and tigers, are wired for flight rather than fight, making them exceptionally fast but also easily frightened. They're nervous animals that don't handle sudden changes in their environment well. The zoo staff understood this innate behavior and hesitated to reintroduce Kumbali to the rest of the family at such a young age, fearing it might cause anxiety among them. But still, the little creature needed to socialize. In the wild, male cheetahs are social animals, often forming coalitions with other males, typically their brothers. This social structure is what Kumbali's siblings were engaged in within their family enclosure. However, Kumbali found himself alone in the world, unable to be reintroduced to his family due to the risks involved. The staff also understood the risks of humanizing him too much and sought a solution to ensure he retained his wild instincts. Kumbali needed a companion of his own kind, but not of the human variety. And what better companion than man's best friend? Soon enough, man's best friend would also become the cheetahs. Before the caretakers at the Metro Richmond Zoo brought in Kago, they thought of ways to help Kumbali and also what type of animal would be the perfect companion. One might even wonder why Kago, a dog and a young puppy, was chosen to be Kumbali, a cheetah's companion. You see, research has shown that dogs have been utilized as companion animals to cheetahs for over 30 years. The San Diego Zoo pioneered this concept and has witnessed numerous successful cheetah dog partnerships. This zoo had a young cheetah cub, much like Kumbali, who also struggled to thrive without companionship. Unlike Kumbali, this cub had been born at the same time as a playful dog with a loving personality residing in the zoo. The dog possessed qualities that the cheetah lacked – easygoing, adventurous, and relaxed, often engaging in friendly interactions with the staff. Jokes were made about the dog being the perfect mentor for the cheetah if they could share the same enclosure without conflict. However, a powerful question arose. Why would they need to fight at all? Recognizing that they were the same age and that the cheetah lacked predatory instincts, the staff proposed an unconventional solution, pairing the cheetah with the dog. This idea stemmed from the understanding that cheetahs, despite their fierce reputation, are naturally sociable animals in need of companionship. With dedication and innovation, the staff explored this avenue, seeking to provide comfort and alleviate the stress of solitude for both animals. As the bond between the cheetah and the dog flourished, the success of this practice garnered attention worldwide. Over the years, it became a recognized solution for addressing the social needs of cheetahs in captivity. It also prompted other zoos, including the Metro Richmond Zoo, to explore similar avenues for enhancing the well-being of their resident cheetahs. In the wild, as such a symbiotic relationship would never occur. However, the perceived positive outcomes outweigh any potential negatives. As they mature together, they develop an almost inseparable bond akin to siblings. They offer each other companionship. The dog's calming influence is significant as the cheetah learns behavioral cues from the dog, transitioning from fear to confidence in its surroundings. Typically, the dog assumes dominance in the relationship, acting as protector and leader, and the cheetah refrains from causing harm to its canine companion. With this strategy in mind, something crucial was missing. 
The aim was to find a rescue animal, a creature that could be given a fresh start, a new home, a companion, and a renewed life. However, the chosen puppy needed specific traits, a blend of calmness and playfulness. Labs are renowned for possessing these qualities, prompting an exhaustive search for the right lab mix puppy of suitable age. Numerous local and distant rescues and shelters were contacted. Some declined outright due to skepticism or misunderstanding. Others were willing but lacked suitable puppies. Disheartenment began to set in until a call came from the Art of Paws. They eagerly agreed to assist, providing a photo and video of a 10-week-old puppy. Upon seeing them, it was evident that the perfect match had been found and his name was Kago. The lab mix puppy was rescued by the Art of Paws from a high-kill shelter in Alabama. Transported to Virginia, he was discovered through the cooperation of a rescue organization. Upon meeting Kago, the staff instantly developed an affection for him. However, Kumbali's opinion of the puppy held greater significance than their own, which they were about to find out. A palpable shift in energy was felt as the young predator acknowledged the presence of the dog. With a mix of curiosity and caution, the cheetah Kumbali approached the canine companion. Every observer held their breath, awaiting the outcome of this momentous encounter. As Kumbali and the dog stood face to face for the first time, the air crackled with tension. The cheetah, with deliberate movements, sniffed the unfamiliar scent of his new companion, while the staff watched anxiously, their hearts pounding with anticipation. To their immense relief and joy, Kumbali displayed a surprising level of understanding, extending a gentle sniff towards the dog. With this simple gesture, the tension dissipated, and Kumbali exhibited signs of curiosity and warmth towards the playful puppy. Within hours, what started as a cautious encounter blossomed into a genuine friendship. Kumbali and the dog Kago bonded over their shared enthusiasm for exploration and fun, quickly becoming inseparable friends. Regardless of their differences, Kumbali with his sleek spots and Kago with his furry coat, acceptance prevailed. The duo could be seen everywhere together, joyfully jumping, running, licking, and playing. The once anxious cheetah had found a companion who brought laughter into his life, much to the delight of the zoo staff. As Kumbali and Kago continued to grow together, their bond deepened, captivating the staff with the seamless embrace of their unique friendship. They became an inseparable duo, enjoying every moment of their shared adventures, including mealtimes, proving that sometimes the most unexpected friendships bring the greatest joy. Considering their completely different diets, feeding time could pose a challenge for Kumbali and Kago. They were fed simultaneously, but required a brief separation to accommodate their unique dietary needs. This ensured that each animal received the appropriate nourishment without any potential conflicts arising during mealtime. However, after finishing their meals, they always reunited, engaging in playful interactions that delighted the observing zookeepers. Despite the occasional challenges of mealtime, their friendship continued to flourish. Meanwhile, the zookeepers continued to emphasize the importance of animal conservation and the positive impact of unique partnerships like Kumbali and Kago. Educational programs were initiated to teach visitors about the role of zoos in wildlife preservation and how these unconventional friendships could contribute to the well-being of animals. Additionally, the Metro Richmond Zoo initiated community outreach programs, inviting local schools and organizations to learn about wildlife conservation and the fascinating relationship between Kumbali and Kago. The zoo became a hub for both entertainment and education, fostering a sense of responsibility towards our furry friends. People from different walks of life traveled to the zoo to witness the magical friendship that transcends species boundaries. According to the Metro Richmond Zoo, in the short term, Kumbali and Kago will continue to nurture and strengthen their bond at the zoo. There may be occasional brief educational meetings as supervised by animal caretakers in a public exhibit, 
providing visitors with insights into their unique relationship. Updates on their progress and adventures will be regularly posted on the zoo's Facebook page, keeping followers informed and engaged. Looking ahead to the long term, Kumbali is destined to become an ambassador animal, representing his species to promote and encourage conservation efforts. Alongside Kago, his loyal companion, they'll live out their lives together, serving as a heartwarming example of friendship and cooperation across species boundaries. Outside of their enclosures, the bond between Kumbali and Kago became a heartwarming attraction at the Metro Richmond Zoo. Families and children gathered to witness the extraordinary companionship between a cheetah and a rescue dog. The story of Kumbali and Kago spread far and wide, capturing the attention of animal lovers everywhere. Despite the initial shock of being introduced to a hungry cheetah in his enclosure, Akago, the young rescue dog, found himself in an unexpected situation that ultimately led to an extraordinary friendship. What started as a supposed experiment it turned into a heartwarming tale of companionship that defied all odds. Last May, Kumbali and Kago celebrated eight years of friendship, marking a milestone that exceeded everyone's expectations. Their bond, forged in an unconventional setting, grew stronger over the years, captivating the hearts of visitors at the Metro Richmond Zoo and beyond. The unlikely pair, once thrown into an enclosure under uncertain circumstances, defied expectations and emerged as best friends. Their lasting friendship is a powerful example of how companionship can transform lives, crossing species barriers and inspiring all who witness their bonds. As Kumbali and Kago continue to thrive together, their story reminds us of the beauty that can arise from unexpected encounters and the profound impact of friendship, even in the most unlikely of circumstances. Have you heard of similar stories of unexpected friendship between two different species? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.